This is Satya Fried Human of Serious Research. This recent issue of the regional outliers focuses on resource markets. In particular, we center some of the information on Canada and specifically the materials sector. Let's get into it. At the heart of this is the belief that we think, uh, thanks to what's occurred in the Ukraine, commodity prices are going to be higher for longer. This chart is interesting because what it does is it relates Canada to the U.S. We continue to suggest that the U.S. is probably the most expensive equity market on the planet. So if rate risk will continue, we believe lower multiple markets should be beneficial. In addition to that, if resource markets matter, then there's a good chance emerging markets matter. And what's really neat about this curve, the thin blue line is your classic EM over DM, meaning if the line's coming down, emerging markets have really been hammered. And most recently, emerging markets are starting to recoil. What's important is this purple line, which is a Canada versus US. So as the line comes down, Canada underperforms, as the line starts to climb, Canada outperforms. So I think this is important to bear in mind because if we're right about resource markets and the focus on valuations, Canada might be a place to focus in on um, in this period, um, especially versus the U.S. The next chart relates what we consider um, our valuation, global valuation component. And if we drill down on commodity groups here. And how to read this is the thin uh, strip ribbon at the top represents each key market. Red boxes represent rich valuations, blue uh, points to neutral, and green points to discounted. And in this instance, if we look vertically down on Canada, while it still as an aggregate looks expensive, some of the key areas are at fairly discount in terms of resource sectors. So energy, industrials, and even in, uh, materials, they are nicely discounted. So this area here is what this report centers on. And in this, this curve, what we're showing now is to take materials in Canada, and now look. let's look at this comparison in terms of valuations. And what you'll notice is that the valuations for the material sector adjusted over time is actually at the lower end of the valuation range that it trades at, somewhere near in the 40% discount levels. At the same time, what you'll notice is that the blue curve has also collapsed. That's telling us that earnings expectations have tumbled. So we believe that this sort of environment of where investors will search for more resource markets, more commodities, Canada stands to gain. Specifically, the material sector looks very interesting here. The report walks through uh, a number of key um, samples of securities that could point you in the right direction. Feel free to follow up with any questions. Thank you.